Hey guys, so finally finished <coughs> this TTS uh, tool holder and call it holder. And uh, overall, it came out pretty good. I messed up the. I don't know if you can see it, but there's some holes on this side right about there. And this thing was supposed to be drilled and tapped and I did it by hand and I screwed it up. Uh, one, I just I wanted to use quarter 20 countersink because I have a lot of them, but the uh, overall, uh, there just wasn't enough room. Uh, shoot. And uh, so I ended up just uh, take welding it and grinding it down and kind of grinding the face down. Um, but this will do 18 uh, TTS tool holders. Uh, these are Novacon uh, branded, um, I guess, clones. They were cheap, like really cheap, so I thought it would hurt to try it out. And um, so then these five, yeah, these five are Novacon branded. Uh, I forget, I think it's eighth, quarter, and half is what I ordered, something like that. And then I have one uh, ER20 Tormach branded holder. Uh, I think this is an eighth uh, quarter. The one in here is, I think, a five sixteenths, or yeah, five sixteenths for this one. Um, this one, sorry, this one's a quarter. This one's three eighths, and this is the half that I have the <coughs> uh, SCS uh, half inch two flute end mill loaded in right now, and then. Originally, I was going to cut ginormous holes in here, but I figured make the best use of space to just um, add all the collets in here as well. Um, I saw a few guys doing it online, but it's going to probably live live in here for now. Um, with the way that I machined the uh, plates, they are... Uh, they are flat 90 degrees, so if I decide I want to wall mount it, um, I can just add a plate on the back side. And then it's not quite 16 inches, so I'll have to do like two, in, like two on each side uh, with a wall anchor or something like that. Or it might be good enough just to have um, two in the center. But this is where it's going to live for now. And hopefully keep the chips off of it. Um, and um, overall, the plate size was 14 and a quarter inch without the side plates. Um, and if you model them up, I use Fusion, but if you model them up and you do your three quarter, I think this is actually almost 0.8. Um, is what this ended up being uh, just so they slide in a lot easier and then you just take you just go to the Tormach side or go online to get this outside diameter measurement um, here and then you can pretty much just put them as close as possible um, I'm gonna be ordering a Superfly so we'll see how that fits it'll probably end up living on one of the corners but just due to the size of the Superfly I might end up losing one of these holes, which is fine, because I can always just uh, machine another one. And But uh, anyways, uh, that's that project, so now I can get to work on other stuff and not have to worry about these, um, you know, banging around and stuff. And, and I can load them up with, um, with end mills. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching.